Hi sewing friends. Okay, so today I am sewing a free tutorial from Noodlehead that makes a canvas pencil pouch. And I'll put the link in the description for uh, the pattern pieces. But I've got my lining cut out and interfaced with ShapeFlex 101 fusible interfacing. I have my exterior main fabric and accent fabrics cut. And you need a 10 inch zipper, which I don't have. So I'm using this vinyl zippers by the yard. And because it's by the yard, there's no zipper stops. So I'm sewing um, little zipper tabs on the end. The tutorial on the Noodlehead blog has a different method for the zippers. So if you actually have a 10 inch zipper, you can follow that method. Or if you're using zippers by the yard, just cut it to 10 inches and then what I did was I cut um, a quarter one one and a quarter inches wide which is the width of my zipper tape by one and a half inches long and then I pressed it in the center and folded the two short edges into the center and refolded and pressed again so now I'm ready to sew it on to the end of my zipper and then I won't have my zipper pull coming off the end. Okay, so that's ready to go. So the first step in um, making your pouch is to attach your outer pieces together with a quarter inch seam and then we will press the seam to one side and top stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna head to the iron, press my seams to one side, and then come back to top stitch. If you're looking for this canvas cactus fabric, you can find it at Daily Lake Canada. And I think their website is dailylike.ca, but I'm not sure. I'll, I will link to it in the description. Okay, so I've got the seam pressed to one side, and I'm just gonna top stitch now an eighth of an inch and I'm gonna put my stitch length from 2.5 to 3.5 so there we go and I'll do the other side And now we're ready to put the whole thing together. So I am going to get my zipper, have the pull on the left side, and put it right sides together with this outer pouch piece and just get it centered. And because I'm working with this vinyl, I think I'm going to sew this side down and then come back and do my my lining piece because this is a bit slippery and I think I'm also going to switch out to a Teflon foot because I'm using vinyl a vinyl zipper okay so I've got my Teflon foot it's kind of a white plastic looking sewing machine foot and I'm now going to sew my zipper with a quarter inch seam Oh, I need to put my stitch length back to 
sure that's working. I've never used a vinyl zipper before, so this zipper you can find at Wellington Fabrics here in Canada, and I will put a link to them as well. So I'm just pinning my lining onto the wrong side of the zipper. Right side of the lining to the wrong side of the zipper. And I'm just gonna flip over and so I can see my previous stitching. Okay, so because I'm using vinyl, I cannot iron my seam, but I can finger press it. stitch length back to 3.5 and top stitch this side of the zipper. repeat for the other side of the pouch except this time with the outer fabric facing up I will have my zipper pull on the right sure and this is handy having that see-through zipper we want to make sure that our seams line up so we can actually match those quite well with the see-through zipper stitch length back to 2.5. I'm just going to get my zipper head out of the way carefully. lining fabric with my outer fabric right side of the lining to the wrong side of the zipper Sorry, my kids are upstairs. You might be able to hear them. I'll try to put some music in the background to drown all the other noise out. Kids and dogs.
Okay, and again, I will finger press my seam. And then I will top stitch again with 3.5 stitch length. I'm just going to switch back out to my regular presser foot because I'm finished with vinyl. Okay, so now we need to open our zipper and pin our outers together and our linings together so we can put this whole pouch together. And we need to leave an opening on the lining side to turn our pouch through. So this is my opening here. start sewing I'm going to put my stitch length back to 2.5 and this is a half inch seam I believe and because our zipper is smaller or shorter in length than the width of our bag, we don't have to worry about catching it in the side seam. Now we just have to reach into that opening and get our, well, you know what? I think I'm gonna trim. I will trim my seams down a bit because they're a little bit thick. It's down to about a quarter inch. And I'll just leave the opening untrimmed. So now we are ready to do the corners. So we just have to stick our fingers in here and put our seams going in opposite directions. You can clip it if you want, but this is such a small seam, I think I'm okay to just sew it. And we're gonna do that for all four corners. ready to turn our pouch. I'm just going to put my hand in and open the zipper up a little bit more. 
Push out my corners. Well, I got some loose threads through there, so I'll have to trim those. Now I'm just going to fold those raw edges from the opening under and finger press. And then I will just do a quick little top stitch to close that. You could also hand sew it if you prefer. trim these little threads that came through. Oh, they just came out of the seam. That's perfect. Just gonna turn this now so my lining is pushed down inside the pouch. And push it out in the corners. pouch is finished and it looks so cool with its little two-tone look and with the little vinyl zipper it lets a little more light in so I hope you had fun sewing with me today don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos thanks for watching